Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera and a good morning to everyone. Uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Shuhaimi Manso, uh, professor at the Faculty of Engineering University Technology Malaysia. Uh, today we're going to have a new uh, session of webinar from our Faculty of Engineering. We call that the uh, leadership of uh, leader of enterprise (LOE). Today um, we're going to have uh, our first uh, LOE uh, guest uh, from Johorian. So uh, he's going to share uh, his uh, experience uh, running a business and 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 also uh, to help others in promoting. Uh, their business. So together with us today, uh, we uh, we have uh, Mr. Zaidi Zainal Abidin from uh, MyOutdoor.com. So uh, please uh, welcome uh, Mr. Uh, Zaidi. Yeah. So welcome to to uh, UTM Engineering. Uh, for uh, beside your busy schedule, uh, today we are going to have uh, his uh, presentation, and it's it's more like a basically a discussion, a chatting with him, uh, how actually he basically uh, involved in this kind of business. Assalamualaikum, uh, Zaidi. Waalaikumsalam, Prof. <laughs> how are you? Hello. Ah, oh, fine, oh, fine. Thank you. How Welcome are you, Prof? No see. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember that we met. Uh, we met ten ten years back last time. Yeah. So it was. I think it, first time we met is about drone actually. But now yeah. I see you, you have something to do other than that. Yeah, Mr. Zaidi. Right? Yes, Prof. <laughs> yeah. Do Welcome. I look the same? Uh a bit <laughs> more professional now, more mature now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Sorry. we have uh, our Dean be, uh, at the back there. Hello, Dean. How are you? Oh, <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> thank you so much for actually chip in because I know you are very busy at Kuala Lumpur. And when I WhatsApp you, you just ah just read it my message. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, this is my Zaid, Mr. Zaid. Yeah. Saya kat Musti sekarang ni tengah buat evaluation uh, invited right. as a external evaluation so mm -hmm. I'm currently at Musti they're having a meeting inside you know they're having some uh, discussion heated discussion inside so so I think it's good to go out and meet our uh, you know our visitor Mr Zaidi yeah, our guest uh, yeah our special guest for the first hour our, our LOE our first yeah LOE yeah. our first leader of enterprise Yes, uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah, prof. <laughs> you want to say something to, to <laughs> Mr. Zaidi? Yeah. No, no. I heard that uh, you you have known Mr. Zaidi for something like ten years. <laughs> yeah, ten years back, and, and it was about well, drone actually. He, now he, I don't know, he's still doing drone or other things. Yeah, we we we, we would like to hear from him uh, today. Yeah, prof. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Thank you for accepting our invitation, Mr. Zaidi. Oh, hey, no problem. Thank you very much for inviting me. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, are you working from home or working in office? Are you still uh, implementing lockdown for your company or something? <laughs> no, no, no. Today I'm from home. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right, okay, from 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Prof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, feel free to join if you if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, if I feel uh, yeah. that I need to say something, then I will pop up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like magic, right? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do continue. Sorry, uh, yeah, Zaidi. Uh, maybe our viewer uh, would like to hear more about yourself. So I think I give you an honor actually to present yourself something about yourself maybe can motivate our student and our staff how to move forward actually so i uh, over to you which is id please uh, present yourself and also uh, your company as well please yeah. okay thank you very much prof bismillahirrahmanirrahim yeah. assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh rabbi shahli sadri wa sirli amri wa hadatan min lisani yafqahu qawli so today basically what i'm going to do is actually to share 
my journey in the business or also maybe sharing some tips of what I'm doing and maybe it may, may be very beneficial to uh, the students of uh, UTM engineering. So a bit of uh, myself. So this is my journey. So in 1990, I'm graduated from University of Technology Mara and then I continue my studies to the States in computer science. And in 2000, uh, 1995 to 2000, I started to work in some multinational company, most of it in Pasir Gudang. And uh, after that, in 2000 and 2005, I start to discover my passion in life. My passion is in ocean. So I, I really love the oceans. Uh, my boss didn't know about this. Actually, uh, during I work for some companies, I start to do moonlighting meaning I start to do my part-time business at that time. So the uh, the first business that I involved in is actually content creation. I stayed in Tioman Island for about a, a month. And from there, I start to write about Tioman. I start to take picture about Tioman, you know, and then I start to discover a lot of things, especially the underwater world and also the beautiful islands of uh, Tioman Islands. So from Tioman, I start to gather a lot of information about the resorts, a lot of information about the attractions in the islands. So from, from there, I start to develop my website. At the time, my website is tioman.com.my. So interesting enough, from home, I managed to get business. It was way back in 2000. So the income that I generate is from a so-called travel agency business. So my first customer is from uh, Iceland. So the most interesting part of this customer is when I start to launch my web, they already start to discover about our beautiful islands. And then they start, start to want to make bookings and want to come to our, our country. So from there, it start to grow. It start to grow, it start to expand, and I start to write about the islands of Johor. I start to write about the island of Sabah, and finally, I know all about islands in Malaysia. So the business become uh, uh, big. So which when I do it, even I do it from home, I managed to secure sales from five hundred thousand to one million. So that's the journey of uh, my company. And then from 2006 to 2011, I start to explore uh, video productions, uh, doing web development, mobile apps, and uh, underwater photography and videos. Interesting enough, now I think you have, um, you can access to a lot of uh, education materials from YouTube. Unlike my time last time, uh, where I don't really have access to information about underwater photography, so which I uh, learned from myself, from there, I start to, you know, uh, in 2012 to 2017, I start to uh, produce content and start to do publication. I already written three books on the islands of Johor and about drones. So I think this is where I met Prof last time, Prof Swami, when I ventured into drones. And in 2000, last five years, I start to discover a brand called Visit Johor. So it is uh, among the popular brands for advertisers to advertise their business on social media. In 2018, I start to venture into uh, Makan. It's a different M, a different Q. So normally you say Makan, M-A-K-A-N. So when I put M-A-Q-A-N, so you remember Makan, Makan. So that is where I start to discover my new brands. Uh -huh. So, Journey at all, or business is about uh, being evolved or what from myself, from my perspective, is to transform what I love to do into a business. So this is uh, among uh, the pictures that I took uh, on the left side is actually pictures I took in uh, Pulau Besar. Pulau Besar is an island in Johor. Mm. Okay, this is a sunset view. And then in the middle is actually uh, pictures of Pulau Rawa, one of the sa white sandy beaches in Johor. Uh, the third one is Pulau Simbang. Pulau Simbang is actually what quite popular uh, snorkeling sites. And uh, the bottom down left is actually uh, Pulau, uh, this is Pulau Mansiret. 
Pulau Mensirat is where you can find a lot of uh, underwater structure eh, uh, or tukun. We call that. Mm. So the middle is actually Pulau Tinggi and the last one is a very nice um, what we call Kelong. This is belong to the, the Sultan of Johor. It's very, very beautiful. Where is it? Is it in Johor? It's in Pulau Tinggi. In Pulau Tinggi. Yes, mm. from. So um, what I love to do is actually I like to share uh, content or beautiful images of uh, I will on underwater world. So like uh, this is PEDI. PEDI is stands for Professional Association of Diving Instructors. They have about 2 million followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I like to share. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're a diver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is Smiling Fish. The interesting uh, uh, picture, this interesting picture is actually taken at night because the fish is not moving. So, mm. so uh, this is called a parrot fish. And one of the interesting images of this uh, fish with um, uh, and the eggs. So this is actually male fish, guard, uh, guardian of uh, the the eggs. So this is taken in Langkayan. So most of the pictures is taken in islands of Malaysia. Wow, beautiful Malaysia. Okay, so this is when I do uh, printed stuff. So this is where I have uh, share uh, my journey at uh, Expo Johor Berkemajuan. And I I do give talks to to share my journey so that people I hope to motivate people to become uh, digital entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So my last session is with uh, Datuk Sri Zaid Amidi and Datuk MB Joe. So it's also about the digital and digital movements in Joe. So Alhamdulillah, I have some awards. So this is my awards with my Moscow. So this is about is, uh, is that is that you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> this is when I have lo lo uh, a lot of hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is in 2004, so I look differently now. So this is a yeah. uh, awards for best content developer in Malaysia. Congratulations, Zaidi. Uh, thank you, bro. Thank you. So this is another award. So, but uh, one award that I quite proud of is the book that I write. This is Sultan Iskandar Muhammad Park. Can you see the book? Smoke? Okay, this book, uh, I won award for uh, best content publication in 2014 and 15. Oh. Yeah, basically, I have... Coffee book, kind of coffee book <laughs> tables, right? Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, yeah. Coffee table yeah. book. So this coffee is another one. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, this is the latest. Uh, and this, this book is actually about diving. So you can see a lot of diving spots in Johor. So where I write, uh, if you dive from this spot, so you go from this spot, uh, circling this. So this is a guide of uh, divers who want to go to the islands of Johor. Great, great. Yeah. So, okay, Prof. That's oh, about yeah. me. Uh, th thank you so much about, about yourself and your company. Very interesting um, <laughs> journey, actually. But beside that, I have one question, which is I still still um, curious. The name of your company myoutdoor.com do you have any reason <laughs> behind it why the name of the company myoutdoor.com my my is actually representing malaysia and my I is see, representing I me see. not yourself <laughs> right representing me so my outdoor journey so that's uh, about it yeah my outdoor mm. experience so this way i share in my web yeah so very nice so now i, I can understand why your interest uh, becoming the name of your company myoutdoor.com yeah so we need yeah. to say that you doesn't like indoor <laughs> not so much <laughs> <laughs> I'm outdoor person <laughs> outdoor person right so yeah uh, maybe we can move on to look into the industry outlook yeah so because your business uh, activity more on the digital marketing social media so how do you relate uh, your business with the industry outlook, uh, Zaidi? Yeah. Okay, Prof. So looking at the industry outlook, so this is very important data that we need to understand. Uh, the total oh. populations of Malaysia in 2020, uh, the January statistics, is about 32 million. Uh, uh, 76,000, oh, 36% mm. is uh, population urban. What interesting is actually 82% of the population is an internet user. 
So you, you can can you imagine the mm, mm, uh, potentials mm, mm. of yeah. doing business online. Yep. Mm, mm. And then move forward. Twenty five billion is actually all represented. Seventy eight billion, seventy percent is actually social media users. Malaysia alone, our transaction mm. in this uh, e commerce is about sixteen billion, and travel mm. also co contributed about thirty nine percent of the you not know, e commerce uh, merchant. So. Uh, given the the um, uh, transition from uh, accessing internet using your um, computers, laptops, now people are moving to smartphones. So yeah. when people mm. using smartphones, it actually affects yeah. the way you Smartphone, represent right. your content. Mm. So your content, when you write a content, the content need to be precise. The content need to be very interesting for people to go through uh, the information yeah yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. agree mm. so uh, social media platform the most popular social media platform in the world is actually use facebook it's about 2.4 billion users and the second followed by youtube at 2 billion users whatsapp at 1.6 billion instagram or ig 1 billion ah and uh, twitter at 3.340 million so this is basically the one in red is actually the one that is most most famous in malaysia yeah okay, so we are on the right track because our program is live on facebook and also uh, youtube yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the right platform bro yes yeah, yeah. okay so that, that's the concept of uh, digital marketing so in digital marketing first uh, there's a push concept Push is actually when you are pushing your information to the users, whether the users like it or not, you are pushing it to them. Mm -hmm. For instance, this is in relation yeah. to Facebook, in relation mm -hmm. to IG and the mm -hmm. other social media platform. You're pushing the information. The yeah. other part mm -hmm. is actually pull. Pull is when you search for specific information. So this, this is uh, when you want to do digital marketing, it needs to be combination of push and pull and information. Pull. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it will not work without content so content is king yeah got area. it yeah got it yeah, yeah. content yeah yeah okay so this is I, i'm sharing about the structure of when we want to write the content so this is what we call fishing or in malaya pancing ayat pancing yeah pancing okay. yeah so you need to have that so you need to get our engaged people to have the interest so like this uh, make sure korang enjoy makan durian habis habis dekat, dekat johor ni contoh mm, so next part yeah. is actually the special offer when you want to do promotions you need to have a special offer or want to do posting you have special offer if not people will not get excited to purchase from you I and the, the third part will be the boring part the facts the okay. facts okay <laughs> durian smelly something like that <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is musim durian huh? from yeah okay so typically, um, uh, what we call a conversion. Conversion is actually when people view your contents, like in this uh, example, we have 137,000 people. So typically around 5% will be an actual buyers or actual customers. Eh? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, this is a uh, conversion rate. Conversion rates meaning total no, reach. Rate, eh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> times conversion rates become conversions. Say mm. uh, in FNB mm. is about uh, close to five percent. Say if you uh, uh, your reach to one thousand people, so actually mm. only three percent will be your actual customer. Oh, okay, really? so about mm. thirty. So you need to tell or uh, to send your information to as many people possible so that you can get a better engagement. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then All right, from. How, how how do you get that conversion conversion rate? Where you go? Is it from statistics or from somewhere else or from the sky? Oh, it is from statistics. Statistic, right? Statistic, yeah, in the, so in, the industry. in one thousand, you only get three percent, which is whatever yes. is. Mm, mm, so that's the only one that actually really, uh, what we call it, like your 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 product, eh? True, true. Yeah, only three yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah, only three percent will will engage with us. Will engage with okay, please. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, is there anything about the that you you work to, to to I mean to share about the industry outlook based on uh, your 
what do you call it, digital marketing because now the equipment also become uh, advanced yeah so yes. just the advancements of the equipments uh, also help or give you advantage to the uh, digital marketing and, and and social media oh to tell you the truth now when we yeah. want to develop content we actually just use smartphone really smartphone yes yes and we can even edit using the smartphone Ah, so very handy that's all yeah it's yes a, but it's a, so you, you can produce the content very fast you know not even going back to the office you already produce that's, content that's one one of the very important uh what you call it uh strategy fast respond right yes that's right yeah, you need to be fast and first yeah, yeah yes yes okay thank you uh uh JD, on 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 that uh, industrial industry outlook about your uh, digital marketing So now maybe we are more interested to deep dive like a diver eh? <laughs> uh, to know more about your digital marketing, eh, what you focus and how you do your living for your living. <laughs> and then, 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 yeah, yeah, because then become a lesson learned or become a, a, a guide to, to others that who has so much interest in, in this digital marketing, digital media. Please, uh, please share, uh, deep dive in, 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 in the area that you are working with actually yeah okay let yeah. me share you a story about what what i i did for this marketing story, now right? mm -hmm. yeah yeah so now i have uh four main brands uh the first brand is actually the, uh visit joe second mm -hmm. brand is makan with a q yeah the makan, third brand is makan. Actually, makan. 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 <laughs> makan yeah makan with a cough <laughs> yeah yeah makan In In Arab, yeah yeah <laughs> But, so, but then, uh, do you? I remember that you mentioned that uh, when you have something slightly different, then you can pattern it, right? Exactly. Yeah. So actually, uh, like the name of uh, makan, we can pattern the name because uh, uh, it is not available anywhere. So like mm. visit Joe, we can pattern that. You know, so so it's quite difficult. It's quite a generic statement. Uh, so if you want to start a business, you need to find a, a unique name mm -hmm. so that unique you can pattern name. it later on. Okay. Nice. So you can help us on on patenting that. <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> so, yeah. so we only pattern makan, but we are you know yeah. finding hard time to uh, pattern the visit Joe. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. what is a uh, visit Joe all about? Uh, yep. Visit, okay. Visit yeah. Joe is about when you come to Joe. So mm. You, mm. the first thing that you come to the mind is where do I find good food? Sure. Where mm. do I find good? Where a good place to stay? Mm. Where mm. to hang out? So this is basically uh, our idea of giving you this kind of content. Like you, when you, when you want to find where is the best place to shop. Okay. Yep. Mm. So uh, which outlet gives you the best discount? So this is basically the focus of uh, Visit Joe. Yeah. Mm. So. The interesting part is uh, uh, we have this brand for the past five years and now uh, most of the big developers in Johor is our clients. Big oh, brands in Johor. Big, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Ikea. I can see that. Yeah. Sunrise, mm -hmm. Ikea. Mm. The hotels, the Hard, hard Rock, Tunamaya. So most of that is our... our you name uh, it, right? Local. You name it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so it's quite interesting. But... Another interesting part of this social media marketing, if you realize that, uh, for instance, we are Media Prima or some people uh, associated with TV Tigger. So mm -hmm. they uh, recently acquired a uh, few brands. Oh Bulan, Says, Viral Charm. Oh. This is all online brand. Prof, can you guess how much the acquisition cost? <laughs> I, I don't have, uh, I, I cannot pick up from the air. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have to admit, I do not know much about this. Okay. <laughs> I need Ty to learn typically, from you. Yeah. typically, yeah. if people ask, so I myself, I would say, well, maybe around maximum of 1 million or 2 mm -hmm. million. Yeah, so that yeah, would be a typical guess, guide, yeah. guide mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. So what, what interesting is actually the purchase is at 105 million. One so billion. that is just yes this is just to show that the importance of this online uh, or social media marketing campaign uh, versus mm -hmm. the traditional medium 
So that, that's why we need to focus now uh, into advertising, not just the traditional medium, but the online medium. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So makes so much sense. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we are hope to join the bandwagon as dog soon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so in 2019, uh, this is our statistic. Uh, we have uh, followers of uh, 289,000. Mm, mm, but mm. what interesting is actually our reach. People reach at uh, 79 million, close to 80 million. Yeah, for Makan, yeah. uh, 44,000 followers. We already engaged about uh, 10 million uh, reach. For in Twitter, this is actually one segment that people don't really touch. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have about uh, uh, 12,000 followers, but what interesting is actually the uh, tweet, tweet impression is at 10 million. Imagine that. That is how uh, fast the information is distributed yeah. to you know, people. So, okay, the next is actually... Maybe I, ha I have one question. Uh, sure, bro. Among a lot of, of, of product, uh, uh, for example, like clothing, uh, foods things like that uh, accessories so what are the i mean the most attraction that when you publish it many people percentage of people actually look at it okay uh, that, that's why when we write the content it need, it need to be very very interesting the content need to be uh, presentable mm -hmm. the content need to be you know when people look at the content people really love the content so that's why uh, uh, some of the content that we have already viral, uh, destination, beautiful yep. destination, mm. food, mm. people like to have food. Uh, eat good food. Uh, so like uh, at least, oh, I was informed that people love food. You get yes. more uh, response if you basically uh, viral about food, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> when we viral, let's say 10 most uh, popular destination for food in Johor. So that will get an engagement about well, 1 million, something like that. So our total engagement for 2019 close to 100 million. So that is how much is actually the information being distributed. Wow. <laughs> so rich, yeah. Okay. So this is another brand. So Makan. So when you look at yeah. Makan, so this is actually, uh, this is at Marco Polo. Close to you, Doc. This is Marco, yep. Marco Polo. Mm. It's a very good, delicious food. Uh, you do marketing now. <laughs> <laughs> Marco Polo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, so today we have makan, makan in Facebook, makan mm. in IG, Instagram, mm. also in web. So, if you miss up the point, let's say uh, this three segment is actually when we uh, push the information to you. I see. Three. Okay, okay. One segment, two segment, three segment. Two segment. Makan, makan Instagram as well as makan uh, Twitter. But mm, the last mm. segment, makan.my, where you find the information. Ah, specific information. Okay. So that's mm. why we have a combination between push information and, mm, and pull. Ah, now I learn. Yep. Mm. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Okay. So we, uh, uh, this year, we have uh, uh, our Makan Food Fest. I think mm. we, we also thank to UTM students that the, they already support our event UTM to become students you mentioned they, they're involved in the in yeah the, some, in, students, ah. some students some uh, students uh, become our volunteers ah I think we have about close to 100 students that time that's a lot that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope from a, a faculty of engineering I hope, I hope. Ah, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you, uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for giving the opportunity to students to get uh, involved okay. because uh, now we actually we want the student to involve with the community. Yeah, so yeah. I think this is a kind of platform for giving us opportunity to involve with the community services and 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 the student actually uh, also tag along with the lecturer to involve uh, with the community services. Thank yeah. you, uh, uh, Mr. Zaidi. Yeah, no for, problem, for no that. Problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, in, in this food fest, I think the students will know that uh, actually mm. we, are, we are able to attract about 350,000 people. Okay. Where, where was that? It's, it's Plaza Angsa, if I know. Plaza Angsana, yeah, okay. Yes, mm. yes. 350,000. So, according to uh, our internal statistics, um, uh, from our initial uh, target, is actually we target 30,000 
uh, visitors. Thirty thousand just your target, yeah. That's my target. <laughs> <laughs> But surprisingly enough, we achieved about 10 times than what we are targeted. Wow. Uh, so we have vendors about From 100. 30 to 300,000, <laughs> right? I think this is and where then. our campaign is very solid, though. Mm. Uh, when we do campaign, we do a very consistent campaign for a period of three months. So that is yeah. where we get a very solid engagement. Okay. So uh, mm. we have about 113 vendors. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the average sales on that day is about 10,000. Some vendors managed to pull about 30,000 to 50,000 sales. So we are quite, quite uh, proud of it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the minimum sales uh, around that uh, three days period is about 1.1 million. And uh, for the maximum, it's about 3.4 million. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Unsunkerable, I call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expect the unsunkerable. Yeah, yeah. This is so, the power of digital social media, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's why I need to share this so that people understand that social yeah. media plays a very important role in marketing today. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving forward for Makan, uh, actually now Makan will stop at one, two, and three. What we do is actually we do creative writings, we do mm -hmm. content development, pictures, videos, and that, and then three finish so well we are moving forward with our apps coming soon inshallah in another month so we where you can uh you know uh, deliver foods and track the sales and basically this is what we do now promote mm -hmm. this business but mm -hmm. where this you can order online so this is our target wow. Next step. order online yes is it going to be a competitor to Food Panda or uh, bread. Uh, yeah. It's a local Johorian brand. Uh, so we need to be proud of our own brand. Yes, yes, yes. The state so we of have Johor, ready, right. ready customer. Actually, Prof, we have ready customer. So like this, Bob, next, what apps? When, you, when you say ready customer, what, what do you mean by ready customer? Is it already, I mean, engaged with you? Or they yeah. already got contract with you? Or, or? Uh, this is our I followers. See. Follower, I see. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the followers actually encourage us to move into the next step, to move into uh, the application development. So that is actually uh, uh, the, 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 the drive, the, the, the drive for the us drive. to develop these apps. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, basically, actually, how it works is actually uh, being local. We have the advantage of the local knowledge. We mm. know where is where is to get the best mirabos in town. Mirabos Haji Wahid, we know where to get the best, uh, say, durian, the best. So that, 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 that local knowledge, we transform it into a trendsetter. Trendsetter, okay, okay right. Okay, right. Trendsetter, okay. you go viral. Mm, viral, mm, mm, they will go through a social media platform, as well as now, people also viral the content using WhatsApp. From what? Missy, mm. you get WhatsApp, what uh, place to eat durian, right? <laughs> Oh, mm, mm, uh, mm. so that is how things get viral and then with word of mouth it's actually become an actual business so that is you know the uh, power of imagination of local content become mm -hmm. a translator become viral become a business beauty yeah beautiful yeah mm, mm. so this is an example of viral posting uh mm. this is what we did for this is actually in 2017 uh southeast uh, asia sand sculpture association so, so this is another uh, vibe. Where, where is it? I mean, the, the, the photo before that, where, where, where is it? That, that uh, this is in uh, Danga Bay. Danga Bay? Ah, it's 2017. <laughs> mm. uh, this engagement of 730,000 people, people mm -hmm. reach, mm -hmm. with uh, 4,000 shares and 7.5k likes. Wow. Okay. Hey. Okay, so when we do that, that posting, the... the Interesting, yep. Mm. Okay. So we did the posting for Dreamliners Airways. So Dreamliner. other brands like to Dreamliner, those uh, Boeing 787? Uh, no, 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 just no. a concept. Okay, yep. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, on your left, it's the original content developed by us. So right. when I see okay. trendsetter, people start to pick up. Uh, so other brands will pick up and release mm -hmm. in their page as well. So this is an example. Uh, okay, Prof. 
Yep. This picture is very difficult for me to take because from that boat they see on the left, so I have yeah. to swim across. I you have, have to, swim. to. Yeah, okay. I have to swim huh. from from the boat to the uh, rocky areas to take mm -hmm. this picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So sadly, the picture is being used for uh, from uh, for other platform without even giving credit to me. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so beautiful. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. okay. So this is uh, you know the same posting copied yeah. by other platforms. So is it, this is something that also you have you have to I mean deal a challenge part of the challenges yeah, this, in this, this media marketing because challenge. people can simply pick and place your 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 I mean your your product your your creativity right. uh, without uh, knowing you but by yourself right yeah, that's right that, that that's the challenge of the uh, digital marketing space where mm -hmm. the content can freely copied by some other people what about okay. the law do, do you have a law that protect you things like this uh that that's a law in intellectual properties mm -hmm. but uh for because Actually, we already uh, uh, consulted a lawyer before, but mm -hmm. the cost to engage the lawyer and the cost to you know uh, that that's yeah. much high. It's too much, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, for example, like people like to, I mean, uh, share their photos in in Facebook, Instagram. So when you post those photos, so so that photo actually belongs to the. The person or belongs to the I mean the media, actually it's or Instagram. Uh, yeah, it is belong to the person. Person, right? Okay, yeah, okay. You still have the uh, copyright on that yeah, photos, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just that the process to claim the copyright is very very difficult. Ah, uh, okay. okay. So this example, one posting reached up to one point eight million people. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is another posting. This is posting what we call a consolidation posting. Posting of many areas. This is where if you come to JB, this is where you need to go. You know, this mm -hmm. is all the places you need to go. So this yep. is for 1.1 uh, million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay, uh, actually, what we we do actually, Prof. Eh? I think yep. I, I like to share this one. It's actually macam payung lah. So we we help small business to ah, grow. Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. not, not just uh, you know making like business. like yeah mm -hmm. SMEs like this uh, starters yeah yeah. Yes yes, mm -hmm. but we also help uh, a small business to grow their business using our platforms. So for instance, uh, every year uh, we help about two hundred uh, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. But this FCO, bro, we yep. only have one hundred fifty thousand uh, one hundred fifty uh, business. During MCO, yes, mm. and that's one interesting story about one entrepreneur that we help. Mm. Yeah, uh, okay. This guy sells uh, uh, fruit juice. Fruit juice, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, one bottle costs about uh, six ringgit. Mm -mm. Mm. So this guy is so happy when we do the promotion. He can sell up to four hundred bottles a day. Before that, before that, he's not even sells fruit juice. <laughs> Man, okay, yeah. Then with the promotion, he managed to yes. sell four hundred. Yes. Yeah, it is because it is. this guy is this guy is actually run a transportation business, but during mm -hmm. MCO, there's no business at all. But need to to survive. Survive, so that's yeah. Where uh, he sells the uh, fruit juice, so mm -hmm. so there's a lot of sad stories. <laughs> so basically, you you also helping this uh, startup. Uh, SMEs or people who like to market or sell their products, yeah. Yes, yes, true. Mm -hmm. but, so, but how you deal with some some of them? Maybe they just starting and then they don't have any. I mean, capital. So <laughs> maybe I'm interested. In, how do you charge them? Actually, <laughs> okay. That, that, that's why. That's why we have to choose the entrepreneurs. Normally, that's why I said. Uh, uh, typically, we can help. With our current capacity about 200 entrepreneurs uh, a year mm -hmm. uh, but during mco alone you already have 150 so we are hoping to to help uh 1000 uh, business in the next five years so that is our uh, uh agenda okay. our responsibility mm -hmm. okay. 
so maybe uh, if we are, we we expand, we can help at least around more than five thousand in the next three years. That's our hope, of course. Wow! Wow! So I think if if this I mean your your based on your company capital yeah but I think if we with the support of the gov from the government I think you can get more than that <laughs> I, I think yeah I hope bro <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that yeah okay good good yeah yeah very interesting yeah mm -hmm. yeah so this is uh for for instance uh the uh, the business that we help mm -hmm. uh, this is actually a food truck food truck. Uh, second is actually Barang Mangga. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Sam, uh, Sam Chakwe. Wow. Okay. So this is an... Okay. Uh, one of the interesting uh, segment that we have. We, we like to think outside of the box. So this is where yes. we have uh, mm -hmm. the makeup artist. So makeup nobody cares, artist? Yes. yes. Makeup artist. Mm. Nobody cares about this makeup artist. So <laughs> that's where we list down 10. Yeah. The, the most powerful makeup artist in Johor. So, really? you know, people yeah. will, they engage their services. That's what uh, we hope. Okay, so, so then some case studies, uh, Prof, that I would like to share. Mm. So, my um, time, this business. Sure, sure, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay, Very this business is actually before, before uh, social media. So, the business is actually only 70 ringgit a day. Mm -hmm. okay. So, when uh, we, we can see some unique a proposition in terms of their business where uh, the way they serve their food or the migori is so nice okay so that's where we can see there's some uh, strategic uh, promotion that we can do for this company mm -hmm. so that's where we help the company and uh, when do the listing it reached up to 654,000 so based on our conversion do you remember our conversion just now prof uh, One, two, yo, so yeah. it's about uh, up to 19,000. Yes. Uh, when we divide the potential thing, it's mm. very close to the 3,005 a day. Wow. So you your conversion is valid then? Right? Yeah, yeah. That's why the conversion is valid. <laughs> <laughs> so this we is. Can, we can use that formula, yeah? That yes, yes, formula. yes. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. Okay, so this is a wood fire. This is very nice. The burger is very nice. So please do try this burger. So it's, this guy operate from home. And now mm -hmm. it operate from Taman Surya Food Court. Uh, mm -hmm. So that, that's improvement in terms of the business. So that is what we love to see uh, from time to time. Okay, so from this story is yeah. about uh, butter chicken. So so butter chicken? Butter chicken, yes. Okay. Yeah. This guy sells his butter chicken at a very affordable price at five ringgit per, per serving. Okay. Mm, so uh, we retweet their post and this is the response from this is where we first started. Mm, it's only mm. a Twitter will help uh, retweet from Makan Mai that brought us here in Instagram. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Thank you mm -hmm. curator Makan Mai for helping us to grow to this today. Yep. Hope you like mm -hmm. this local from us. So dear, uh, he sends actually the food to our office. So, okay. uh, but he, he told us to go down. I said, hey, why, why do we need to go down to pick up his food? I see. But okay. when we meet this guy, macam nak menangis lah, bro. He said, yeah. okay. why? This guy, it's... okay. Okay, you are. Huh? Touch our heart. Yep. So, we, we feel very, very, you know, um, Satisfied with what we have already, you know, help these people. So we are hoping that you know, uh, that they can uh, grow uh, bigger. So this is an example of chocolate murah JB. Uh, now you can go. Last time put uh, operate from home. Home now they have mm -hmm. uh, operating here post Raju in in JB Lakin. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, that's about it, Prof. So. Uh, do like my page, visit Johor and Makan, and uh, if you want to be my friend Facebook or Instagram, by all means, please. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Zadi. Very interesting and very touchy, actually, <laughs> your presentation, yeah, sharing with us. Uh, I think maybe it's good for us to share some question and answer. Eh? Maybe uh, some, some of the audience viewer would like to ask questions, please. Uh, we can, yeah. We, we can accept a question from, from viewers. So, Mr. Zaidi, 
he's here he willing to answer your yeah your question please any questions well thank you yeah thank you so much yeah uh oh yeah have you can you see the question uh yeah, Zaidi? yeah, yeah. 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 from kogila vani anamala yeah uh, during the mco and COVID outbreak there would have been tremendous effect to most businesses yeah i think we accept that including yes. yours right so yeah. how did you face this challenge and can you share about your survival yeah mill yes, yes, yes. that's a very good question a very good yeah. question <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so in terms Obviously, of yeah. uh, working environment most of us are uh, working from home so there's mm -hmm. no in terms of working but the problem is um to meet up with the customers so we, we can meet with customers because for instance we do meet customers to for instance do videos do the uh copywriting do the yep. pictures mm -hmm. so, but we cannot do that now so uh another way of um uh, instead of you know uh crying out loud so what we do <laughs> is actually we keep on promoting the business around us so we instead we help people Okay, we cannot uh, push ourselves in terms of business. So what we do is still we help other people. So at least other people also can survive. Uh, in terms of uh, now, surprisingly, the business pick up like 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 really really good compared mm -hmm. to the so during the COVID. That's why now we are covering in terms of yeah. the losses that we have during the COVID. Ah, uh, so meaning to say that during the post COVID, you can I mean potential to cover this back. Is, this is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because people need to advertise. So when yeah. people need to advertise, so they come to us. That's so now, now we are we're quite happy that we are recovering of our business now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Zaidi. Yeah. A question uh, from uh, Kogila Vani. Yeah. So please, uh, uh, is there any more question from audience, from viewers? Yeah. Yeah, there's one more question coming up. Yeah, Zaidi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, typically. There, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, the question is: May I know the price range of your service to help those SMEs? Okay, the price range is actually depending on the job scope. Uh, job some scope. business uh, need us uh, to take the pictures, uh, to the videos uh some some uh, requires a uh, lesser job job scope so the price varies from 800 to 3000 ringgit per po posting but mm -hmm. during the uh after post covid we do special offers of uh 200 to 300 uh, per posting so to help up on the industries i learned special offers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> any promotion must have special offers right must have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zaidi. Yeah, yes. uh, we are still open to question and answer. We still have uh, time, so uh, please um, pass your questions so we can share. Then Zaidi can answer your questions. Yeah. What about education, uh, Zaidi? I have I have one question. Yeah, because uh, I'm dealing with all this. What I call it education business. Yeah. So now. Uh, People talk about uh, education and very important, right? So, yes. this, did, I mean, do you do any promotion in, in in terms of education or helping universities, things like that? The the only things that I can remember when uh, I I help out on the education is uh, during the recruitment or during the student intake. Mm, student promotion. intake, okay. Yeah, mm. we, we, the last time we have done the uh, uh, I think I, I can remember the organizations. Uh, but, that's what, yeah. but for example, that if we have some program that we, we think that it's going to be marketable, but you, but we don't, I mean, we need to learn how, I mean, the strategy for marketing, things like that. So probably later in the future, we can collaborate and how to do, I mean, to market our education uh, 
uh, with your with your company yeah is that yeah, is that sure, sounds sure. good yeah <laughs> good to explore that one bro. <laughs> yeah uh, I, we have one more question already one more question from ab kadir yeah thank you for your question ab kadir asking that i would like you help to market my product <laughs> so you can be mtp ni how can you do that to assist me okay there he, yeah there yeah. it is yeah ab kadir thank you ab kadir for your question yeah yeah We can discuss further on, on this. Uh, as I said, yeah. uh, uh, it depends on the job scope. Uh, some will be, you know, uh, a lesser price. Some will be mm. uh, higher price. Depends on the job scope. So uh, if we are able to to help you, in fact, you can help for free. So we will help you for free. It depends. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Help for free. You see. Yeah. So it depends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I think the spirit is basically. Uh, First, we have to help each other, right? As you mentioned about your COVID, yeah, because many people, I mean, downplay their business. They cannot do business actually, yeah. But you, yeah, you keep yeah. them live, yeah, to 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 run their business, yeah. Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, as I did, we have one question from Muhammad Anwar Hussein. Thank you, Muhammad Anwar Hussein. So I think from UTM student, yeah, because he asked about how UTM students can reach to your services. Oh, please, please do like yeah. my, my page. Just now I will share my page. Uh, mm. Mr. Joe. Uh, so just subscribe to it and send send me a message or you can also reach me at my number. I think uh, I'll reach yeah. my number. Oh, you can contact me. I can pass to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my number. <laughs> so this is my number so you can reach, reach your page. Ah, number. nice. Yeah. Uh, all the viewers, uh, there's the uh, contact numbers. And the company uh, for uh, Mr. Zaidi, yeah, yeah. I still in because when when I I, I see a company myoutdoor.com Sindrian Brahat, yeah, it's, it's unique, yeah, unique, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have any more questions? Ah, we have one more. Hafizuddin Ripin, thank you, Hafizuddin Ripin. Your questions. Uh, apa cadangan tuan berkaitan teknik atau cara promosi terbaik untuk universiti dalam memastikan uniti, UTM kekal lestari? Ha, ini soalan power ni uh, uh, daripada Hazi Fudin. Terima kasih Hazi Fudin soalan. So, kita minta uh, Tuan Zaidi jawab ni. ni. Ha, tolong Betul. jawabkan Tuan Zaidi. Silakan. Yeah. So, so basically we need to have engagement. So we will hmm. talk about engagement to write a powerful content. So the question is actually back to content. So that we need to identify the right content for this audience. So if the audience like a specific content, so we need to write content. Contents in the sense of uh, maybe uh, creative writings, pictures, mm. also videos. So uh, I would like to example, uh, if you know about Abit Liu. Abit Liu is a pendakwa. So mm. what he is actually, go right down to the uh, so-called um, uh, apa tu? Uh, orang yang minta bantuan. Yeah. Uh-huh. Kepada so, ayah. so when you see see what he did, so you will feel very, very touching. You feel uh, very engaged. So that is where you will go to him and support him. Same goes to what you want to do, sexual promoting universities. So you need to have an engaging content. So engaging content means that content need to be continuous. Content need to be touched to the heart or close to the heart. So that's mm. where you can mm. be able to yeah, trust yeah. it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, connect. What we call it uh, semalam, kita ada webinar dengan Suhaimi Sulaiman sebenarnya daripada Chairman oh, okay. Bernama. Yeah, okay. So I still remember that he said that about Emotional connection. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I think that's the word. Yeah, emotional connection. Yeah. So in our branding, in our marketing, we have. I mean, you should be able to touch their heart, yeah, which is right. emotional question. Yeah, I think uh, Hafiz Hafizuddin again. Okay, nampak eh, mana kita ada kena ada content dan content tu kalau boleh menyentuh hati dan perasaan. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, when when we do as a uh, promotion for a restaurant, hmm. so hmm. when we take pictures or we take videos. You need to be uh, engaged when you say, oh, nak makan. So then it's mm. successful. 
Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm, mm. So you need to produce that kind of content, like the visual visual reference or visual effect content. Yeah. yeah. But uh, to add, add to have you put question lah, yeah, because sometimes kita dengar benda tu oh content senang je, tapi what do we need? Sometimes you need some arts, sometimes you need some experience. So do we need to be trained to be, I mean, good in in developing the content? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's, <laughs> you need to be able to do the it's process. Skills, eh? it's, it's skills. Skills. Sometimes people can write content, but it doesn't yeah, really, I mean, good, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's, it is skill that you need to learn. Yeah, skill, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Hafizuddin, Ripin. So, uh, do we have more questions, please? Uh, we still have time yeah, to chatting with uh, Zaidi. Ah, we have one question. I, Diana Hamidi. Is that right? Do I pronounce it correctly? Uh, Diana Hamidi. Wow. Uh, Zaidi, the question is, in your opinion, do newspaper advertising still relevant compared to social media advertising? How about the percentage of budget allocation? Should businesses spend on newspaper advertising versus social media advertising? Wow, oh, yeah. what a powerful yeah. question. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Diana Hamidi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I, Diana. So uh, basically, I would like to give analogy of the real business situation. Uh, mm -hmm. In the last five years, uh, most of uh, in this example, I take hotels. Mm -hmm. How do hotels promote their business? They actually using the traditional what I call traditional medium. So mm -hmm. you advertise using newspaper, uh, radios, TV, and whatnot. So last time the budget is about uh, eighty percent through this traditional medium, newspaper and, and uh, the relevant media, and only 20% to digital medium. But the trend 20%. changed for the past two, three years. Okay, Absolutely. now you look yeah. at uh, the budget allocation of uh, 80 to digital medium, 20% to uh, uh, traditional medium. Traditional so that's yeah. how the changes are happening right now. Uh, so that's why, as I said in uh, my earlier slides, uh, hmm. Media Prima acquired the seven brands for 105 million. So I think you can relate it. How important is the uh, social media social marketing media. now compared to the uh, traditional medium? Wow. So the rule 2080 still applicable here, right? Yes, but you still yeah. need the traditional media. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. So now 80% of the media and 20%. Wow. Okay. Um, Zaidi, I think masa mencemburui kita sudah hampir satu jam kita tanpa disedari. Wow, yeah. okay. One hour. All One right. hour, yeah, yeah. I think, I think uh, anyone who like to communicate with Zaidi, uh, so please uh, uh, continue uh, your communication. Maybe you can uh, contact him, his company personally because uh, we only have one hour session here together. Oh, we have... <laughs> So one hour session here. So hopefully that uh, we can uh, work together again, Zaidi. Yeah, I yeah, think sure, we are working sure. together. Yeah. Because yeah. I still remember 10 years ago, we are dealing, dealing with, with drone. And then the, the first thing that I get to know you well, uh, then then from then on, we I still remember we went to Mosti asking for grant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Thank you so much for sharing with us a very valuable information. Yeah. And uh, as, as you know that uh, this is not the end because we would like that our viewers to, to get in touch with you and then we can maybe get some potential collaboration in the future. So for our all viewers, uh, please don't, for, don't, don't forget to, to, to share and like our program here. So there will be more uh, LOE uh, uh, program uh, webinar in, in, in the future. So... Uh, uh, I'm still looking. If the dean still around, or he would like to say something, uh, Dr. Rafiq, is he around? So, uh, if uh, everything is fine, it's okay. 
uh, okay uh, zaidi yeah thank you so much thank for you, no. the uh, what you call it a valuable sharing so beside you. your busy time <laughs> and please come to my office in utm so then we sure, can sure. we can talk more about this uh, digital marketing because we have a uh, school of computing uh, where we actually can work together and helping uh, us to maybe looking in the education area and other things okay zadi thank you so thank much you. yeah okay yeah. bye bye yeah. bye